1-3. And go to page 112, the speaking part. Here. All right, what is today's topic? It's colors. Teacher, colors. Why do we have to talk about colors? Hey guys, everything around us has colors, okay? That's why we should learn something about colors, okay? But seriously, hey, we're gonna talk about colors, not only the colors itself, like the name of it, but also you're going to memorize the spelling and also you are going to practice how to write sentences using colors and the things around us, all right? That is the purpose of today's class. Okay, now, before we go further to today's unit, let's go to classroom survival English. What is today's expression, guys? Look at the picture. What is the setting? As usual, the teacher here is talking in the class, right? And there is one boy. He raised his hand. And then there is this girl, she just looked at the boy like, all right. So what is, okay, what is today's classroom survival sentence? Repeat after me, guys. Can you speak slowly, please? Okay, one more time. Can you speak slowly, please? Can you speak slowly, please? All right, and then what did the teacher say? Sure, sure. Or the teacher can also say, no problem, no problem. All right, can you imagine, guys, when we use this expression? All right, so sometimes during our discussion, sometimes the Ray and teacher also speaks fast because I'm so excited, all right? I am so energetic and I am full of power, so I am talking really fast, this, 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 and that, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, what is she saying? Because I am speaking too fast, all right? So that time, you can raise your hand and say, hey, teacher, Ria teacher, can you speak slowly, please? One more time. Can you speak slowly, please? And then I would say, oh, sure. No problem. Or maybe I would say, oops, I'm sorry. Sure, no problem. Okay? All right, guys. So let's move on to today's topic. All right, what is today's topic? I'm going to stay here. <clears throat> let's read this together. All right? Repeat after me. We're going to learn how to talk about colors today. Here are some questions for you. What color do you get if you mix red and blue together? Purple, right! What color do you get if you mix yellow and blue together? Green, that's right! Okay, so just like what I said, today's lesson is not only talking about um, the primary colors, but we are going to talk about the color that will Okay, that will appear when you mix two colors, all right? Now, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, look here, guys. So, this is the word bank. All right, there are cubes here, and some of them already have the names, right? Can you see them clearly, guys? All right, so the first cube is, what color is this? It is red. How about this one? Blue. Say it again. Blue. Very good. How about this one? What color is this? Yellow. Again, guys? Yellow. Very good. How about this one? That's right. It is green. Say it again. Green. Very good. Can I write this for you guys? All right. Okay, guys. Write your answers now. All right? And check your spelling as well. How about this one? What color is this? It is orange. Can you say it again for me? Orange. Good job. How about this one? What color is this? It starts with the letter P. It is pink. No, it's not pink. Look at your books, guys. It is purple. All right. How about this one? It's pink. How about 
this one. I don't think you have encountered this color yet. So what do you think is this? It starts with letter M. It's a combination of black and blue. If you mix these two colors, you come with a navy. All right, the spelling is N-A-V-Y, navy, okay? It's a navy color. How about this one? What color is this? It starts with S. Is there a color that starts with S, teacher? Yep, there is. Okay, it's a combination of blue and white. You come with a sky blue. That's right. Okay? And how about here? What is this color? It's a it's a white. That's right. It's white. And how about this one? What is this color? Gray. Very good. And this is black. Very good. Spelling. B L A C K. Very good. All right. Let's practice these colors again, guys. Repeat after me. Red. Red. Good. Next. Blue. Blue. Very good. Next. Yellow. One more time. Yellow. Good. Next. Green. Again. Green. Very good. Next. Orange. Orange. Good. How about this one? Purple. Again. Purple. This U R here sounds like er, right? Per. Purple. Purple. Very good. How about this one? Pink. Again. Pink. Very good. And this one is navy with a letter V. Okay, V. v. Navy. One more time. Navy. Very good. This one is sky blue. Again, sky blue. That's right. This is white. White. All right. This is gray. Gray. Next, black. Again, black. Very good. Now, how about here, guys? You see here, the color is brown. Say it again. Brown. Again, brown. Very good. But there is a word light and dark. That is right. So many colors can be lighter or darker, right? Just like brown. It can be a light brown and it can also be a dark brown. Okay? So actually it's the same for sky blue. Some people call it sky blue, but many people will call it light blue. Alright? Or the teacher, can I say light black and dark black? <laughs> no. If it is a light black, it's going to be gray, I guess, right? Or, but, you, but then you can say light gray or dark gray because gray has many shades. All right. Now, did you guys finish answering this? Check your spelling if you're correct, all right? That's more important. Now, let's move on to... Let's move on to the next page. All right, what is your task here? Get the idea, fill in the blanks. So you can see here the colors, right? And then they are blanks here. There are blanks here, which means you are going to write here what color, all right, what color comes when you mix these two colors. That's right. So let's take, for example, number one. You can see right over here, this is red, okay? And then this is blue. So red plus blue, okay, or red mixed with blue is what color, guys? It's a purple, okay, purple. Now right here, your answer is purple. Okay, next. Over here is yellow. Yellow plus blue. Yellow plus blue is what color? This is easy. I think you've already learned this in school. You learn primary colors and secondary colors, right? So if you mix yellow and blue, what is this? Yellow plus blue is green. Okay, right here, green. Okay, next. Red plus yellow, over here, red plus yellow, red plus yellow is what color? It is, okay, 
Okay, orange. Red plus yellow is orange. All right, now listen guys, you can practice for the speaking part, you can say it like this. Red plus blue is purple. Just like when you are doing addition, all right? So you can say, for example, one plus one, instead of equal, you can say is. So here you can say red plus blue equals purple. We, you, you can also say that, but instead we will say is. Red plus blue is purple. Good. How about here? Yellow plus blue is green. Red plus yellow is orange. That's right. How about here in the second part? All right. Blue and then black. What color comes when you mix blue and black? All right. Blue plus black is navy. Okay, blue plus black is navy. That's right. How about here? Blue, blue plus white. Blue plus white is sky blue. Sky blue or light blue is okay. Sky blue or light blue, they are the same. Okay, next. Red plus black. Red plus black is, what color is this? It's a, it's a brown. All right. Right here, your answer is a uh, brown. And then, of course, red plus white is what color? Red plus white is pink. All right. Now listen, guys. Maybe you think that these colors will not really appear as they are written here when you mix the colors, like using using watercolors or using your crayons. All right. But we, the answers here are just something that we can assume. These are the closest colors that will come when you mix these colors. For example, red and black. Teacher, it could not be brown. Actually, it could be a light brown, a very dark orange, or a dark red, like this. But it could also be a brown. All right? Okay, now, for the speaking part, What is your task? Let's talk about colors. What things are usually purple? Usually, okay? Because not everything could be purple, all right? Or, or no, not something is purple at all the time. So, usually purple. What things are usually green? What things are usually orange? We use this expression usually, for example. I say, what things are usually purple? And then I say, grapes. And then one student will say, teacher, there are green grapes. Right. But usually they are purple, right? <laughs> so we, get, we use the, the uh, word here, usually, all right? And same with what things are usually green? Trees. And then it's winter, so trees are all brown. Okay, <laughs> so let's just assume that these are the colors of the things around us right now, okay? So... Let's practice. All right, what are the colors again? Repeat after me. Yellow, brown, green, orange, sky blue, purple, red, and black. All right, now, how do we do this? All right, the thing is, you have to do this using a complete sentence, all right? Uh, I am going to link this page, practice, and let's have fun because I want you to write and speak a complete sentence, all right? So, for example, in here, the color is red, all right? A heart is red, okay? So, in this part, also, instead of just saying, what things are usually green? Lettuce, grasshopper, or broccoli, instead of saying it like this, here in this space, this tiny space, you can write your sentences. For example, a broccoli is green, like this. A broccoli is green. Or a grasshopper is green, using this pattern. I will write it. Okay, this is how you write a complete sentence. 
is use here an article a or an or the, your subject or your noun or the things around you that you want to talk about. Use is for your beaver and then use the color. All right. So for example, let's try um, orange. Orange. Okay. A blank. A blank is orange. What is orange? An orange. Okay. <laughs> All right. An orange is orange. That's right. Or instead of using orange, how about a tangerine? A tangerine. Okay. A tangerine is orange. Okay. Or how about a persimmon? That is also orange. Don't just use the fruit orange, okay? A persimmon. A persimmon is orange, okay? All right, now listen guys, please write your answers here in this tiny space, all right? And the same thing here, this is your task. You're going to write a poem. Pick a color. Write a poem about it in this tiny, sp tiny space at the bottom. Before we do that, let's read the example. Okay, let's read together. A heart is red. A tomato is red. An apple is red. But a lemon is not. Okay, very cute poem, right? It's so simple. Okay, so right here, Right here, your uh, your poem using any color, right? So if you want to use yellow, um, a lemon is yellow, a melon is yellow. What else is yellow? Um, a banana is yellow, but a tangerine is orange, like this. Here, in this very